I'm here with Edward, the technical manager for Fox ESS. And you've got so much product here. Yes, Inverters, batteries, EV chargers, and a massive commercial unit there. What, 100 and something kilowatts? Yes, of course. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. Let's go and check out. <laughs> so what do we got here, the K-Series? Yep, uh, the K-Series. Um, it's a single phase device, and uh, it is ranged from 7 kilowatt to 10 kilowatt uh, power, power, power range. And uh, the best part, I, I must say, that it possesses four MPPTs and with 16 uh, amps input current. Wow. That is amazing. And indeed, it, it is luxury for such a single phase device. Four MPPTs. Yes, four single MPPTs. And it's right. a hybrid inverter as well. Yes, of course. So it goes with which batteries? Uh, it goes with um, all the battery, battery type, high voltage battery type in Fox Z portfolio, uh, such as HV 2600. Right. Yep. Uh, HV 2600 and uh, the ECS there, that part. Yep. Yep. So the, the 2600, these ones here? Yep. Uh, what's their capacity? Uh, the capacity is 2.6 kilowatt hours. Right. And oh. they're high voltage, so they connect them in series. Uh, it depends for such a, for, for this device, like this is a H3 Pro. Yes. You can connect to uh, up to seven. Seven? Yep, seven. So what voltage is each battery? Uh, it's roughly uh, 51 volt. 51 volts, okay, yep. cool. And it's up to seven of them, so seven times 2.6 kilowatt hours worth of storage. So yeah, yes, quite a lot. Yes, uh, quite good. And but actually, for for in, in our Fox Z portfolio, uh, we will all, always recommend our pro, uh, our clients to purchase that ECS system. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is much, much cooler. Now we're in front of the H3 Pro series here. Yep. So the H3 Pro, uh, it's a three-phase inverter, up to 30 kilowatts, so 15 to 30 kilowatts. Yes. It is. Uh, and we adopted the, the integrative die casting technology. Yes. And uh, so it brings us a very high level resistance to the vibration impact and the uh, coronation, and of course, the waterproof performance. It is gorgeous, and uh, uh, you, you know, for uh, for this device, it can. It is very flexible. It, it has. Uh, you you can connect two battery, two battery set to this device, or you can set one battery set to connect to the PV. So it's flexible. Really? Yes, of course. It's got two battery ports. Yeah, two battery ports, two so battery set. I just I haven't seen that before. So one of them can connect to the PV. Yes. And, and one can connect to a dedicated battery. Yes. Uh, it depends on, on your demand. Right. Oh, that's cool. Let's look at the, uh, the the smaller units around here. What's this one? It's the H1 series. Yes, H1 single phase device. Uh, range from 6 to uh, six, uh, 3 to 6 kilowatt. And of course, uh, it is the, the um, actually, it's, it is our H, H1 G2 generation 2 with uh, input current up to 16. And uh, I believe 16 is very dominant in, in, in this in this market now. Yes, because panel sizes are getting very big. Yes, of yes, course. Yes. And the mirror batteries, uh, what's different about these? Uh, they adopted different uh, cells inside. Yes. Yes, and uh, this, uh, this you, you can see this size is a little bit higher than H2600. Ah, so it's more storage or just different cells? Uh, different cells. Yes. Okay. Different cells. Oh, cool. Yeah, and over here we've got uh, the grid tie inverters. So this yep. is the G series single phase grid tie. Yes. Um, it looks like it has three MPPTs. Yeah. Um, it is also sixteen amps input current. Uh, no, currently no. No. But in in very near future we will integrate our device. Yes. Yes, in, in very near future. And I see it's got an integrated DC isolator, which is very popular in Australia. Yes. Yes. It is very important and uh, prevalent in Australia. Yes, it saves a lot of money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know it. Now this one I'm familiar with because I've actually got one of these at my lab. Yep. Uh, so this is the F-Series. Yes. I remember the first generation. This is the G2, which is the really curvy looking one. It's, uh, yep. it's a very appealing uh, design, the, the G2. Yes. And it's got the um, fingerprint. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, basically we will iterate our F and the G very soon. And uh, we, we will uh, ascend the uh, input current, and we will add some very new feature like the um, dry contact. Oh yes, yes, multifunctional grenade. It, it should be so controlling like a hot water service or some other load. Yes, many things like uh, heat pump. 
Heat pump? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like some smart appliance at home. Ah, like yeah. SG Ready? Yep. Like SG Ready. Very good. Yes, uh, as SG Ready has been implemented on uh, hybrid inverters, but on the uh, F and the GZ screen hiding inverters uh, haven't been uh, implemented. So since this time we are going to integrate our device, we will get all the things that we, we think is cool, we'll add them. That's really good to hear because when you add uh, things like heat pumps, that's a, virtually, effectively another battery. Yes. Now, what do we got over here? This is the T series. Yeah, T series. Uh, 3 to 25 kilowatt device, a great high, great high, great high inverter. 25 kilowatt in that size? Yes, of course, 25. You're kidding me. That's amazing. Do you want to stand next to it? I just want to get, see how. Oh, I'll stand next to it. Um, look at the size of this thing 25 kilowatts. It is. <laughs> wow. Uh, Miniaturization is incredible. Yeah. So uh, it's a three-phase grid tie inverter um, up to 25 kilowatts, right? Yes, yes. Cool. Now here's uh, the big boy. Yeah, big boy, big boy. Let's look at the big boy here. <laughs> oh, our service. <clears throat> Tell me about this one. Ah, this one is our superstar today. And yes. it's, uh, it is very new um, launched this year. And er er everything you can imagine will be included in this device. Like, for example, AFCI, like the... Parallel or like like, like the um, anyway anything that you can imagine you will have in a. In so I can see it has eight MPPTs with two inputs per MPPT. Yes, it goes from seventy five to one hundred and ten kilowatts of AC uh, output power. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's got a Wi Fi and four G uh, dongle option. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. Yes. And you said it's got some extra smarts built in. What are those? Mm. You said SG Ready, or uh, was there something else? Uh, for this device, SG Ready is not no. I, I don't think many people with one of these would have yeah, a heat pump connected. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a factory thing. might. <laughs> uh, but uh, actually, we are all uh, we are also uh, developing our our EMS you know, EMS system. So in future, if you have an R series, and today you have you want to have a heat pump, yes, of course you can do it. Our EMS. So it's very flexible. So the EMS can be a, 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 se a separate device. Yes. That can be the smarts for the installation. Yes, of course. And uh, I, I must say, for for all the Fox's products, yes, we uh, we open the uh, uh, more bus or suspect to our uh, third, third party. So if you want to do VPP or anything else, you can uh, you can fulfill the, your 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 feature by our more bus and by our suspect. So no 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 problem. Now, this is kind of funny. We've got the big boy next to the little baby. This is like Baby Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's uh, our well, very new one, micro inverter. <laughs> and uh, the ma maximum efficiency is up to 96.6. So it is quite high. So this is a dual input uh, micro inverter. Uh, yes, dual, dual input. And it's up to 1.2 kilowatts. Yes. Sir. Wow. It is. Well, that's pretty impressive. So it's all part of the Fox family now. So with your EMS, with that, also work with the micro inverters. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, but e our EMS is ha ha hasn't been launched yet. Right. Yes, we're we're, do we're going very fast. Okay, we'll we'll wait for you because your product manager, you'll get it out there. I yeah. know. <laughs> Let's go you. and look at this uh, Lego set over here. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. <laughs> so, I guess you're you're trying to show that it's modular and expandable. Yep. What do we call these? Uh, we call it Energy Cube ECS system. Ah, oh, it is very cool. You just need to stack them one by one up, and we're done. You and an amateur can easily install a Fox S battery system. So it, this is very cool. Trust me, very cool. No cables, just plugged together. Yes, plug and play. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's also better from a, a reliability and an efficiency. Yes, of course. And uh, you know, we we, are, we, we use a um, high voltage system. Yeah. Right? And uh, this high voltage system brings us a, a very high run trip and the system efficiency because our, uh, our battery voltage is very consistent to the operating uh, voltage of the inverters. So you will not lose very, very few energy when, when, you, uh, when you use it. So it, it is very terrific performance so, uh, in daily use and uh, the return, call, uh, return period. So the energy cube. Yep. And it goes up to, can you put nine of them? Is it nine? Two, four, six, eight, nine? Uh, or is that just a display? It's uh, just a demo, <laughs> but uh, in daily use, you, you can up to seven. Seven? Yes, yeah, seven. Wow. And it ranges from 2.9 to 4.8 kilowatt hours. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so in future, as we said, as we saw the H3 Pro, yes. you can have two sets, 
and the, the, the total capacity will be uh, roughly 70. Oh, okay. So you can two sets of batteries onto the uh, the inverter. Yeah, we're a big one. Now let's go look at your, uh, you've got some US products here, I saw. Yes. <laughs> so this is for the US market? Yes, this is a very new loss on the uh, US market. Actually, so it we... does split phase, so 220 volt. Yeah, 200 watt. Right. Basically. And up to 11.4 kilowatts. Yes. Wow. And uh, this is hybrid as well. So you'll be able to charge your Tesla with 11.4 kilowatts because they're 11 kilowatt chargers. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> you know me. Uh, and uh, for this device, they can go in parallel. And uh, actually, we'll have a Fox S hub here, but we, we, we didn't demo. Uh, we, we can connect four. Four, bat, four inverters, separate inverters to, to one hub, and uh, there will be no glitch CPS function. So it will be able to power all your home supplies, whole home backup. So four times 11.4. Yes. Wow. Okay. So 26 kilowatts roughly. No, no, th no, 46 kilowatts. Uh, yes. Yeah, right. That's that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And um, you're using the same batteries, the, the power cube. Yep. And down here, we've got an EV charger. Yes, EV charger. A new one again. Yeah, it is pretty cool, and uh, you, you can see the enclosure. In enclosure is is um is sliver, right? And very very cool. And uh, it can also operate with our um, with our inverter. We call it synergy, right? Ah, uh, uh, you mean to optimize for self use of solar? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, when you have surplus power from the solar, you, you can use them to to charge to charge to charge your car. Right. So this is a a type two connector. Yeah, it's a type two. Yeah, right. Which is the the most popular one in Australia. Yeah, currently, yeah. Yes, and uh, I believe it has OCPP for third party integration. Yeah, yes, of course, OCPP. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Now let's look at the last unit, which is my favourite, the all in one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is all in one, all in one three phase system. Yes, and uh, we have uh, all in one. All in one, actually, three uh, inverters. This this is the inverter, and this is a battery set, ba battery cabinet, uh, and uh, you can install the battery from this part, and it it connect uh, up to four, uh, twenty six hundred, uh, actually twenty six hundred. So uh, it, the the capacity is up to uh, currently is up to ten point four, and uh, with this uh, cabinet. We can go 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 up to twenty point eight ah, so, hours. So this is your expansion cabinet over here. Yes. Uh, and this is the main unit with the integrated uh, yeah. inverter. So what's the rating of this inverter? Uh, IP currently for this design IP two one. Right. IP two one because uh, as our uh, research on the market. Yes. You you you, you want uh, always uh, install it outside. Yes. So install your home. It's very gorgeous. It. It's very beautiful. So it's their home. It's like the, the decoration, I think. So yes, it's very cool. So IP21 currently is for this one. Right. And what rating is the inverter power? Inverter power? Uh, this, uh, this is three phase and uh, it, it is exactly the same as, as our H, H3 device. It is 6 to 12, 6 to 12. Well, kilo, well, so kilo three phase, one. 6 to 12 kilowatts. Yep. Yeah, right. OK, well, that's yes. cool. Well, Edward, thanks for showing us around Fox ESS. <laughs> no worries. Okay. My pleasure.